生，有着卖力争，有着来源。It's the night in the jungle， 在花野争，有着来源。It's the night， 你有妈妈味。What is up, Cinephiles, and welcome back to Screen Kings. For today's video, let's talk about the survival thriller film called Beast, directed by Baltasar Cormacor. This one stars Idris Elba as Dr. Nate Daniels, who, along with his two teenage daughters, find themselves being hunted by a massive rogue lion in the middle of a game reserve in South Africa. Now, this is my B-movie thriller of the week, and what I love about this film is it knows what it is, it does not complicate things, this is a chase film and what I got is a suspenseful and intense, bloody, violent chase film. I get to enjoy the whole experience. Actually, I am so affected in my viewing experience that at one point, I'm starting to kick the floor when a lion tries to claw Nate underneath the car. So even though we've seen this concept so many times before, it doesn't mean that it won't be as enjoyable granted that this will be executed well and it all comes together when it comes to its technical aspects. Let me first start off with its cinematography. The camera work by Philip Rousselot is so smooth. A lot of handheld yet steady tracking shots. There's just something more suspenseful when you're getting these continuous shots where you feel like you're in that situation. You're stuck in the middle of savanna. You don't know where to look. The camera doesn't do any cuts. There you go. You get that real-time tension. So the stress level and anxiety is high on this one. Also, I have to add the visual effects for the rendering of the lions here. I would have to assume that no real lions are used in this film. I hope so. And then also the editing is just so tight. It's just one and a half hour, so it didn't waste my time. I got what I wanted, unlike, say, the recent Jurassic World Dominion where you get a couple of chase sequences, one after the other, and the result is pretty much the same. Also, the sound design is great in terms of delivering those well-facilitated jump scares. I have to also commend the direction by Baltasar Kormakor. If you are familiar with this director, he directed this 2015 film called Everest, another survival thriller film. So this is not something new to him. And I can imagine that it took a lot of rehearsing when it comes to the blocking. So he finds the perfect tone to sustain that atmosphere of fear and basically make this movie a one thrill of a ride. It's actually his vision and verb for this film that makes this slightly elevated than your disposable survival film even though the plot is a bit basic it's a bit predictable the dialogue is trite though i'm not really expecting something clever here because it's a survival film most of the lines are going to be just throw away but either way this is an edge of your set thriller that knows how to develop its characters to create them a backstory at least backstory so we got here a family drama, some sort of a dysfunctional family drama because Idris Elba here is a recently widowed father who tries to process his grief. He felt the need to apologize to her even though she's not alive and he wants to reconnect with his daughters. Basically the reason why they're doing this planned trip. With that, you can expect a redemption arc. Hopefully, Idris Elba here plays the role with a commanding presence. Normally for a B-movie thriller, you don't take it seriously but because he is the main actor in here it adds credibility to the movie but basically the selling point of this film is Idris Elba versus a bloodthirsty lion so if you're yearning for that kind of action you will get it especially towards the third act where it's one a hell of a sequence it involves a big and a bit ballsy decision but mostly dumb so good thing Idris Elba here has a heavy plot armor so that will hopefully go a long way. As for the rest of the supporting cast, they're all game and committed in their roles to show those feelings of desperation and exhaustion. The two daughters here played by Ayana Holly and Leia Sava Jeffries did a good performance as well as Nate's biologist friend here played by Shalta Copley. Now apart from processing grief, this movie also has themes about animal exploitation, 
environmental degradation and definitely some messages about anti-poaching though it does not beat you to the head with its morals it doesn't make a PSA out of it so that's good I also like that the lion here has a clear motivation on why he's doing these things why he's on a bloodlust why he's on a killing spree so the movie explains that some of the drawbacks of the film it could be predictable because you know how the survival stories go and of course you will be frustrated at times by some dumb decisions but then again this is a b movie so it wouldn't be a b movie if there's no character doing something dumb anyway if everyone acted correctly in these types of films it will be over soon so where's the fun in that and personally if I've always imagined that if I'm in this survival situations, I might do something dumb as well. So yeah, I'm I made peace with that. And overall, this one it's filled with stressful situations and tense moments. It knows how to embrace its B movie identity. For that, I'm giving this well executed and efficient thriller a solid three out of five stars. If you are a sucker for raw depictions of man versus nature or you just want to admire the landscape of south africa give this a try in the cinemas so let me know what you think guys about this movie if you've seen it hit them on the comment sections down below also if you enjoyed watching this video give this a like and subscribe if you haven't yet for weekly content thank you so much guys for watching until then i'll see you all on the next one